I think it's great practice to model these little things here. This one is a low poly uh, image. It's a 3D image, of a, like a sort of a hotel uh, lobby or check-in section. Maybe this is at an airport and you want to book your hotel. All right, so I'm going to model this and get it to look as close as I can to this, but have fun doing the modeling. All right. So I'm going to do the floor and the back wall and the windows uh, in this video, okay? Uh, and I have to say, of course, this is not my image. We're just using it as a reference. So I'm over here in Blender 2.79. My screencast keys are on. I've switched over to Cycles and just deleted everything, all right? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go Shift A, Mesh Plane. Make sure I'm in solid view so you can see it and look right down. So there's my plane. And it's all lined up and it's going to be 10 grid units down to here and 10 there. So it's 20 by 20. All right, we're going to go into front view and edit mode. Make sure it's selected. And I'm going to extrude it up to this grid line. And to get it exact, I'm going to press the snapping, the horseshoe there. Switch over to increment and make sure that this is turned on. E to extrude and pull up to that grid line. And then you may have to adjust it. Okay, great. So there's our there's our plane. I'm going to switch over to edge snapping, shift D, rotate X90 from the side, and then I'll pull it back and snap to this edge. You know, get it in there, and then snap to the outer edge and bring it above and snap to the bottom edge. There we go. Cool. I'm going to look from the front view go into edit mode and wireframe so we can see. I'm going to switch over to increment and I'm going to bring in an edge loop, click and then slide it down one grid unit. So that and that will be the same thickness. Okay. And I'm going to go to face selection and select that face there. Maybe I'll go here. That face there. Okay. And I'll go back into wireframe. Look from the side. And we're going to slide this ahead or extrude it ahead two grid units e one two and it snaps okay great turn off snapping select that face shift d and p to break it out so there it is and set the origin of geometry okay so with that selected I'm then going to go into edit mode, select it, and turn on snapping to increment. I'm going to extrude E. I'm going to extrude out to there. So that all lines up nicely. Okay, I'm going to come in and check the bottom face. This is important for making the windows. All right. I'll go into wireframe. And I'm going to just drag it up to that. There, so it's sort of resting on the floor. All right, we can come out of wireframe now and just have a look at what we've got. All right, I want to work just on this for the windows, so I'm going to go Shift H, and we are going to get rid of that face. So, and Control Plus, we'll get rid of all those faces, so we're only left with just that one right there. Let's look from three. There it is. I'm going to put in two edge loops, and they should line up with the grid lines. That's very important. For this makes it a lot easier select those two faces and delete them and we are doing just fine all right i have snapping to increment on so i'm going to bring in an edge loop and i'm going to pull one up to there one grid unit one to the bottom there one here to the side and another one to the other side there my window's going to go in there but i want a tall one and a short one similar to the diagram so i'm going to put a, another edge loop and just decide whereabouts you want these okay and if you don't like that position you can grab them and sh shift them down you may have to readjust some stuff as long as they're the same distance apart there we go like that okay now i'm going to take this i'm going to switch over to edge snapping shift D drag it out drag it back and snap it to the outer line there we select it shift D one more time bring it out and snap it to there let's go back and alt H bring everything back you see okay my windows are ok 
Okay, I'll adjust the position of that later on. Okay, take that, Shift H, and work just on that again. So let's come on back in here. Now, we want all of these borders to be the same thickness, so I'm gonna go into wireframe. And what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna shift all to click. Actually, what we should do is we should select it all in W, remove doubles first because we merged some stuff. Let's take those two edges there and we're gonna bring them in five of these little grid units so that we have a total of 10 across, right? Because if we look over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have practice counting here in Blender. So I'm gonna grab those. I'm gonna to switch to increment, snapping to increment with this on, and I'm gonna S Y, I'm gonna pull down one, two, three, four, five. I guess I pulled up. So I should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now at that point I can take this edge and X dissolve it and get rid of it and do the same over here okay s y one two three four five and if you go too quick just count one two three four five okay select that one x dissolve edges excellent okay let's go back in there that's what we have okay and bring everything back turn off snapping for now and go into solid view. All right, doesn't look like much yet, but let's go back in now. And we are going to, in face selection, select all these pieces here. X, delete those faces. And I'm gonna give it some thickness, so select it. E to extrude, push it back. Not the full, not the full thickness of this. Okay, polys are discolored, so select everything. Control N to flip the polys, go back into object mode. And then just make sure it's selected and just push it back into the middle or so. Right, you decide exactly on the position that you want that and how thick you want those windows to be. And I now have a nice set of windows, the same thickness. If I wanted to put on a bevel, which I probably would, it'll come away from the wall a little bit. I'll put two and just dial it back. I just wanted a little bit of bevel and I have the basis of my rooms right now now of course putting the bevel on the curve it won't line up with the wall exactly so we'll leave that off for now but there's this the start of my little hotel room similar to this you know the thickness of this might be a little bit different but uh, that's at least through the you know consistent uh, in in this model all right so there's part one.